In this video we are going to talk about top 10 difficult languages to learn. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. No matter how much effort you put into it, learning a new language is never an easy task. It is, quite simply, a mind-boggling undertaking. However, there are a few things you can do to make it easier. Aside from that, there are several methods to make it more challenging. While attempting to learn French or Spanish presents its own set of challenges, the majority of the learning is concentrated in new vocabulary and grammar. After all that tedious work, you might as well go all in and learn a more challenging language. Different alphabets, characters, writing styles, and new sounds will challenge you to your limits as you learn to communicate. We will describe the top 10 most difficult languages to learn in the world, as well as 5 other languages that are more difficult to learn. Don't consider this as a hint that you should give up. There are a variety of online resources and language learning software available to help you understand and communicate effectively in another language. Number 10. Polish. A familiar alphabet and a simple seven-case system distinguish Polish from the other languages in the group. In contrast to the other languages stated above, while it is by no means an easy language to learn, it is a little less mind-boggling to master than the others. However, you will still have to cope with an extremely complicated gender system. The lack of linguistic relationship between these dialects and the English language is a common thread that runs through all of them. When you have the ability to translate between two languages and cultures that are vastly different from one another, it is extremely fulfilling. There are few things that can compare to the gratification of being able to converse between two completely different languages and civilizations. Achieving success in many languages, such as these, puts you in a strong position to advance your career as a translator in a less competitive, but more sought after and higher paid, language pair in the future. Number 9. Icelandic. However, even if Icelandic is not the most difficult language on this list, it is still a tough language to learn. As a result of its limited distribution on a single island and its sophistication, while it is not considered a linguistic isolate, the fact that it is spoken by less than 400,000 people on that island has surely resulted in it developing some distinctive characteristics. Since Iceland was colonized in the 9th and 11th centuries, it has stayed practically unchanged, and rather than adopting foreign terms to represent new concepts, Icelandic prefers to coin new words or to give new meaning to old words, as has been done in other languages, such as English. The combination of all of these factors makes language acquisition challenging since, in order to become even remotely fluent, you must be physically present in Iceland and take advantage of the resources available there rather than learning it online. Number 8. Korean. Korean has risen to become one of the most popular languages to study in recent years, owing to the popularity of K-pop and Korean dramas, among other factors. The current Korean alphabet, known as Hangul, is rather straightforward to master as long as we ignore the more old Chinese-influenced character. It is the most difficult component to figure out how to join letters together to form syllable blocks, which are subsequently used to construct words that is the most challenging. In addition to the palatalization of the vowels, some consonants are either omitted or combined to form a single consonant in Spanish, which is a notable distinction between Spanish and English. It is also quite difficult to become adjusted to the syntax, which follows the verb final word order. Korean language learners can get help from a variety of resources, including popular K-drama series and Korean pop music CDs, to help them learn the language. Number 7. Thai. Continuing our discussion of Asian languages, the next language on our list is Thai which we shall cover in more detail later on. The development of this language has been impacted by a number of foreign languages, most notably Lao, Sanskrit, and Old Khmer, among others. While a single consonant can be represented by a variety of characters, the fact that Thai is a tonal language with five tones makes learning it extremely tough. The syntax is also notably different from English in those spaces, rather than words, are used to denote the end of phrases and sentences. Thailand, on the other hand, is home to some of the world's most tourist-friendly cities, including Bangkok, Chiang Mai, and Phuket. The main sentences should be easy to remember if you can memorize them. Number 6. Russian. Some of you may remember the Cyrillic alphabet that we discussed earlier for Mongolian. The Russian alphabet, on the other hand, is formed from the same Cyrillic letter as the English alphabet. Russian is one of the most frequently spoken languages on our list, with a total of 260 million native speakers, making it one of the more well-known languages on the list. Although you should keep this in mind, don't underestimate the difficulty of learning this Eastern Slavic tongue. When it comes to studying Russian, 
One of the most challenging elements is mastering the pronunciation of the language. There is a lot of media available that has brought Russian to the notice of the broader public, which is fortunate. Number 5. Finnish. For the time being, let's move on from Asian languages and look at the next language on our list. Finland's official language, Finnish, is a member of the Uralic language family. It is the official language of Finland. It is one of the more difficult languages to learn because it has fewer than 6 million native speakers throughout the world. The system of vowel harmony, on the other hand, is the most challenging aspect of learning the language. Once you've gotten beyond this, the remainder should be relatively straightforward. Number 4. Mongolian. Mongolian, a lesser known language with roughly 5 million native speakers scattered across four countries, is a lesser known language. Mongolia's official language is Kalka, Hala, which is a Mongolian dialect that is spoken throughout the country and is one of several dialects of Mongolian. Traditional Mongolian script is written in vertical columns from top to bottom, from left to right, but the more modern Mongolian Cyrillic alphabet is written in the more familiar left to right orientation, from top to bottom, as is the case with the more familiar Latin alphabet. Once you've mastered this language, though, you'll be able to communicate with the people you meet along the way with relative ease. Number 3. Japanese. Japanese is a difficult language to learn, despite the fact that it is spoken by over 128 million people all over the world. In spite of the fact that this language has many Chinese loan terms, Japanese has no relation to Chinese and is therefore difficult to learn, even for native speakers of the language. A distinction between female and male tone when speaking Japanese is also something that learners should be aware of when learning the language. Furthermore, Japanese can be divided into three main written types, hiragana, katakana, and kanji, each of which has its own unique pronunciation. Fortunately for students, the popularity of Japanese anime has made it easier for them to learn how to pronounce this difficult language. Number 2. Arabic The fact that Arabic is one of the oldest languages on the planet is a good justification for it to be ranked second on our list. Classical Arabic and Modern Standard Arabic are the two main written forms of Arabic, with Classical Arabic being used in the Quran and Classical Literature and Modern Standard Arabic being used in Modern Literature. Modern Standard is the type of Arabic that is used by all Arabic speakers today, and it has a distinct vocabulary than Classical Standard. There are also variances within each Arabic-speaking region, in addition to this distinction between them. The direction of writing for numerals is different from the direction of writing for words, and Arabic can be written in a variety of scripts, including Hebrew, Syriac, and Latin, in addition to its own alphabet. All of these variables are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how tough it is to learn Arabic as a second or foreign language. In contrast, if you manage to grasp this language, you'll be able to broaden your reach to include more than 221 million speakers in more than 35 different nations. Number 1. Mandarin Despite being the most widely spoken language on the planet, Mandarin has a reputation for being one of, if not the hardest language for English speakers to learn. Because there are over a hundred different Chinese characters to master, it's already difficult, but it's the tone that keeps individuals from picking up the language comfortably. Because the intonation is difficult for English speakers to enunciate, numerous different phonetic transcription techniques have been developed. The major system is Haninan which is used both officially and in Western Chinese publications in China. Despite the fact that this romanization scheme employs letters from the English, Latin, alphabet, these romanizations are difficult to pronounce when read off the page. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.